uh, on Facebook, uh, it is possible to add uh, friends. Uh, and uh, a lot of the brothers and sisters, they add friends of the opposite gender. In terms of non-practicing Muslims, I think it's very clear that uh, this could be a big fitna. But in terms of practicing Muslims, would you advise them uh, to have friends of the opposite gender on Facebook or not? The benefit of having friends of the opposite gender, if you are involved in da'wah, is that you can, uh, they can benefit from the reminders you share and you can invite them to Islamic uh, events, etc. on Facebook easily because you have them as friends it's, and, and it's not possible to invite someone who's not your friend on Facebook. The negative uh, side of it is that uh, their images, etc., whatever they share, and if they are non-practicing people of the other gender and they might sh- share some provocative images of themselves or even images of, of themselves, so they, that will appear on your, on your Facebook wall. So it will be easier to access uh, their their images and things they share. It might become a fitna for you. But it is also possible to, when you have first seen it, you can turn it off. So you will not see something more from that person again. So what are your advice in this sense, Sheikh? Yeah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. As I always say about these things, that there is a no clear-cut answer. There is no black and white. Okay. It depends on why people are adding those friends, which is a very fundamental point, the intention. Yeah, There is a difference between a person who is adding those friends for da'wah purpose and a person who is using it for maybe sexual exploitation or any other haram reason or just for fun. Okay, There is also a difference between how much you can access and how much the opposite gender has displayed of his personal images, okay? And whether there is haram or not. This is another important element. Also, there is a third important element. What, how far you can go, yeah? How far you can go or how far you normally go. Um, If I know that, well, this is a fitna for me and even if there is no photo of the sister on my Facebook or she's not uh, on my Facebook but because I can communicate with her privately this is a source of fitna and it can go further and further so this situation is 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 quite dangerous Uh, but if this is unlikely to happen and the sister has not much of her uh, personal uh, images on the Facebook, then it, that can be with the other conditions in mind that can be uh, overlooked, inshallah. But in general, this uh, social media uh, has to be dealt with very, very carefully. We have so many stories of people falling into haram, people have divorces, yeah, marriages breaking down because of social media.